Hello, this is Amber Wood and welcome to my video. You guys, this is a Christmas look for the ages. All right, so we've got some fun Christmas spirals with some glitter. We've got gems on the lips, rhinestone lips. Oh, hold on, get my necklace. Oh yeah, I think I'm ready now. Jingle bell necklace coming in hot. All right, so watch the rest of this video to see how we got this look. Hi, I don't know if you saw back in October, I did a fun little spiral Halloween look. So that's what we're going for today, but Christmas edition. I'm already tired. <laughs> and of course I had two big pimples. I look like Rudolph now, try to cover that up. Now my nose looks like a horse. What am I doing? All right, we're just gonna get right into it. The last time I did this look, it was for Halloween and I used these little doodobbers, so they worked pretty good. I think I'll try it again. My ratio, <laughs> my measurements were a little off, so my lines were a little off. So I'm gonna try and do better on that this time, but we'll see <laughs> what happens. Okay, I look like I have a giant Band-Aid on my face, and I know this is weird, and now my eye is starting to tear because I got tape in my eye. So if you try this, it's going to be kind of a weird process, but you just got to trust the process, right? I have the hardest time getting started. I'm going to use the red. It's called Licorice in the Jawbreaker palette. Now for my Halloween look, I had pigments, neon pigments that I used. Well, it was really just one. So this is going to be a little different because it's eyeshadow, but... I don't know, we'll see how this goes. Okay, that's too far over. I'm not sure how I feel about it already. Okay, and then the green, there's a green that I like in the Nomad Cosmetics Lake Como palette. It's a nice like Kelly green. Okay, okay, everybody focus, here we go. So what I do is I just like get most of the pigment right on the line and then go back later and just kind of smoke it out and fill it in a little bit. But I want it to be darkest on the line. And then we're gonna on the ends. Does that make sense? Okay, okay, okay. That's not terrible. We're doing okay, we're doing good, we're doing good. So it is a bit of a tedious process, but it's not like hard, hard. See, I'm just doing it softer on the edge there. Let's see. Ah. <laughs> So one thing I'm noticing is you don't want to go in the spiral because I feel like I can't see where I'm going because this is covering up what I've already done. Does that make sense? So it's better to go away from the spiral because now you can see what you've already done and it helps you see what you need to do. <laughs> you need a bit of a curve on this. Eh. Let's keep going, just keep going. Now I'm just going in with a lighter shade of green on the more faded side. Seeing if that helps. Uh, this needs to be more defined, I feel like. Oh, I need to fix it. I don't know if that looks right. It just looks like it's coming straight out of my eye. I want it more curved. Okay, now I'm taking the Naughty Palette Kylie Cosmetics. It has a really nice dark green and a dark red. So I'm gonna use that kind of a really thin angled brush to go right on that hard edge to give it a little bit, a little bit more oomph. And I think it's helping. And then I have to do the same thing all over again. <laughs> I'm starting the other side. Oh, <laughs> starting the other side now. I'm trying to make sure that my measurements are a little bit better because the last time I did it with Halloween, it was completely off, but I had to go with it. So whatevs. So here we go. I already feel like this is off. Hold on. <laughs> it is. I need to go further back. You know what it makes me think? <laughs> you know what it makes me think of is the iron mark from the Home Alone movie. A lot of people do the makeup for Home Alone. They do the big iron print. That's what it makes me think of. <sighs> okay, I gotta fix this. Okay, so I basically gave up on my symmetry. It definitely looks like the iron print from Home Alone, but I have to just let it go and keep going because otherwise I'll be sitting here forever trying to get the symmetry right, which I can't, I can't do it. And I used to be a math teacher. I know my face is not even in the right camera frame. Look at that. <laughs> okay, we have, to <laughs> we have to keep going because otherwise I'll just keep messing with it and messing with it and I can't. That's the wrong brush. We need the red brush. Red brush, here we go. So 
this is where we are. We're gonna keep keep it moving and just hope it looks decent. <laughs> I'm debating whether I should do glitter or gems or even this foil stuff that I got. Kind of feel like I want to oomph of something, but I don't know what yet. At this point, it is what it is. So I'm doing some eyeliner, try and make my eyes look a little bit more awake because they're tiny, I have tiny eyes. So I'm gonna do eyeliner and lashes. Uh, I've got these really cute red and green lashes I thought would be perfect for this look. So I'm excited about these. These are from this company I found on TikTok. What's it called? Let's Slay Cosmetics. Let's Slay Cosmetics, super cute. So I'm gonna try those out today. And I might do on top of my eyeliner, this is a JD Glow Cosmetics eyeliner. I might do that on top of my black to kind of, I don't know. <laughs> okay, so here's where we are. I did the lashes, which I want to say they are perfect for this look. <laughs> How perfect are they? Like when I do like this, not that I'm going to walk around like this or anything, but doesn't it kind of like match up with the spiral? <laughs> Sorry, that's a little crazy. Um, but yeah, they're perfect. And then I also added some glitter, just a little bit of pressed glitter. This is a Beauty Creations. How beautiful are those? Oh, they're so good. I love this little palette. And it's so easy because I just like dab it on my finger and do do do, and that's all I did. So I added a little bit of glitter because obviously I'm a glitter person. And I just went on a TikTok, I did a TikTok live looking for suggestions for the bottom part of the look. And I think I'm going to do a red glitter lip and then time, you know, considering I might try to do rhinestones. We'll see. It's a little ambitious, but we'll see. So I have to go feed the baby, and then I'm going to come back in a few minutes and see where we're at. Okay. Okay. I've decided to add more fun glitter. <laughs> Not like we need more glitter, but this glitter is by Glitter Moose Cosmetics, and I really love it because it's different sizes. It comes in these cute little tubes, and you've got big ones, big pieces and smaller pieces together. And sometimes they throw some stars in there and some different shapes and what have you, but it always comes out so cute. Look at that. Uh. Okay, so on the TikTok live vote, it was for the red glitter lips. So that's what I've done here. I used the Kylie, I think this is Mary Jo. It's a velvet Mary Jo. Love it, love it. And then I have this little guy that's like a little stacker some red glitter. I just kind of patted it on because it's a velvet, so it was a little tacky still. Now, I'm going to go ahead and be ambitious and add rhinestones. I thought about doing a spiral coming out of my lips with red and green, but that's going to be too complicated, and I don't want my lips to look... I don't want to be too, too confusing. I think that might be too much. So I'm just going to do red rhinestones on the lips, and then we're going to be done with this because I'm over it. <laughs> I know it's tiny, but this is the only white eyelash glue that I have. So the eyelash glue and then I have little, I don't want to tip it over, tiny red rhinestones with my needle nose. We're going to do, 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 do. So let's do a few so you can see how we're going to do this. So just putting a little bit of that and these are hard to pick up. Uh, that's not easy. So there we got four. Let me do some more off camera because this is gonna take a while. <laughs> okay, bottom lip is pretty much done. Look at that. That's gonna be cute. Okay, here comes the finished look coming up. Okay, I'm done with the lip. I think we're gonna add these cute little wreath earrings. Super fun and festive. What do we think? Look at that. It didn't take me as long this time because I kind of knew what I was doing kind of. <laughs> so if you have questions about doing the lip, let me know. I think I showed you. These were the gems that I used. I got these on Amazon, so let me know. I can send you the link if you're interested. Do I need a hair accessory? I think we need something in the hair. I kind of look crazy. I'm not sure how I feel about it. I love the glitter. Hi. Merry Christmas. <laughs> Let me know what you think about this look, if you would wear something like this to one of your Christmas gatherings, and uh, hey, make sure you like this video and subscribe to my channel. Have a great day! Merry Christmas!